Hey Explorers, today we're going to talk about what we're looking for in our next house slash trailer slash RV. So we've had a lot of fun living in our two different Airstreams, our 30 footer and our 23 footer. And now it's time to get our next rig and we've thought about class A's, class B's, class C's. We've kind of gone back to the drawing board and thought about everything that's possible. What are you landing on right now? So I'm thinking I want to stick with the travel trailer thing. I really like that. I like having um, our rig set up to carry tools and camping gear and things like that and tow the house behind us. So I think that's a good setup that we'll probably stick with. Yeah, that's worked out really well. Plus we just bought a brand new Tundra and it'd be silly to sell that <laughs> and then buy a class A, B or C. I really like being able to detach the house and go explore in the tundra. So we'll be building the tundra and setting it up for exploring, but also to be able to tow our next trailer. So we're going to get a trailer. And because we like having the tools in the back and stuff like that, we're not going to go with the fifth wheel. So we're going with another travel trailer or a bumper pull as some dealers refer to it. We're still just as sad about the quality and features and design of all the RVs we're looking at, as much as we were when we totally started, there aren't tons of options that just excite us. Nothing massive has changed in the last few years since yeah. we were first shopping. A little less flowery wallpaper maybe, and maybe a little bit better colors, but build quality is still low. They, a lot of them, we are seeing some with more ground clearance, which is cool. Yeah, that's definitely true. So our next trailer will probably not be an Airstream. I know it's a big shocker to a lot of people, but um, Airstreams are fantastic, but they have some drawbacks. They take a lot of modification for full-time living, especially boondocking. Uh, the tanks aren't exceptionally big. There's not a lot of ground clearance. You can't fit much weight inside or there's not room for a lot of batteries. So if you do want a big solar setup with batteries, they're gonna have to be lithium, which is very expensive. And so just looking at the amount of time it takes to install solar and lithium and lift it and um, do everything that needs to be done to one of those to make it easy to boondock in, I'm not willing to go through that right now. Yeah, so even though we still really love Airstream, I think we're, we're most likely going to try something else this time. So our ideal trailer would be probably the same as a lot of you we've heard from you, and we are hoping we're wishing some rv manufacturer out there would want to talk to us and consult with us on what what our generation wants and what boondockers want but it's kind of an interesting predicament because rv manufacturers are selling every single junk trailer they make right now so they're not really motivated to change anything because it's working so they've been resting on their laurels and building the same stuff they've been building for the last 15 20 years and since the surge in baby boomers retiring is going up, they're all buying trailers. Younger people are buying trailers and we're so desperate for anything, we'll take what we can get. And they don't have a whole lot of motivation to, to improve quality different. or design or anything like that. Now there are some exceptions, but on the whole, I mean, we've even called some of these trailer companies and talked to them and a lot of them are just like, <laughs> one of them said, uh, we don't talk over the phone. You'll have to make a handwritten letter and mail it to us, then we'll review it, then we'll call you back if we're interested in chatting with you. I'm like, what is this, 1842? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> what company in this day and age cannot take a phone call and chat with people about it? Anyway, it blows my mind. But, so there are some exceptions out there, but what we would love to do is talk with a trailer manufacturer that's forward thinking and open to hearing ideas from people who travel full time about what would make a great trailer. So, we, without giving away all of the insight that we've learned we would like to share some things that would make a great trailer what are the top two things you want this time around i'm really interested in having a trailer that we could potentially put the bikes in previously we always had the bikes stored in the van and we probably could put the bikes in the truck but um, that's something that i'm really curious about is if we could find a good setup that allowed us to not have the bikes in the truck the whole time yeah, there are a lot of younger, active people. I mean, most RVs, and I'm being stereotypical because that's how most RVs are built. Most RVs are built for, most RVs are built for retired people with expendable income that are out exploring. Most of them don't have kayaks, paddle boards, bikes, um, a whole bunch of 
outdoor games and stuff, but we do, and a lot of the younger generation wants to bring that with us. So we want a room and space to be able to bring bikes, boats, toys, stuff like that. I also want it to be built rugged. I want big windows like always. I want ground clearance. I want durability and I want a lovely aesthetic. And I also want something that's able to be lived in full time without major, major modifications. Oh, and I want huge tanks. Uh, we've seen a lot of great trailers with like 100 gallon fresh tanks and like a 25 gallon black tank, which is means you can take a couple really long showers <laughs> but you can't stay out very long. Someone needs to make one that's got good clearance off-road, that's big enough to live in full time. We know there's a couple out there. Some, think about all the Ford Raptors on the planet right now and how well those sell and how few of them actually go off-road, but they like the rugged, sporty look of that. Why is nobody doing that with trailers? Like, even just the appearance and the uh, look of having a rugged trailer, that would do extremely well. But for people like us, we want to take it out there and get back in these remote areas. Australia is killing it in this field. They have so many amazing, amazing trailers that are no more expensive than the junk you find at a normal RV dealer. And they're way better built, way better interior, way better designed. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because they don't need to do that here, because they're selling no matter what. Yeah. So one day it's going to catch up with them and somebody's going to make an innovative trailer that's built for living in full time, built for being off grid, that's got high quality components, um, that has ground clearance and room for your toys and stuff, and they're gonna kill it. They're just gonna knock it out of the park. So another thing, I'm kind of scattered in my thoughts, but these are things I've been thinking of lately. I like Airstream, but they've kind of become like the trendy thing right now, and I kind of like being different. And as much as I love Airstreams, it kind of feels like everyone and their mom's renovating an Airstream right now and trying to live out of it. So I kind of want to try something different and be unique in that sense as well. Yeah, I mean, I still love Airstream and I love the aesthetic. Um, so I, I don't have any problem with it. And, you know, like they're, they're beautiful trailers. But, you know, it'll be cool to kind of experiment and try something different, you know, so. The good. huge downside of not getting an Airstream is should we decide to sell it, we will take a bath we will not make half of our money back i mean there are trailers that went for 35 grand last year that are selling for 18 grand this year just because they're a year older and they've been lived in i mean they've been taken out two or three times so anything other than an airstream depreciates super fast so we're gonna miss that that's gonna be a big change for us yeah so we'll see so stay tuned we're gonna go to some rv shows go shopping take a look at a whole bunch of different things and share our thoughts as we shop again uh for the perfect rig we appreciate a lot of your suggestions on great rigs you've found that might match our criteria. And uh, we can't wait to share some of our favorites with you.